Mamuda, unknown, unknown family. The imbalanced asymmetrical arms of the Mamuda are among its most notable features. Feeding on seeds and fruit, the Mamuda is known to actually sow and grow plant species. While other species have exhibited seed-bearing behavior for the purposes of storage, the Mamuda is the only species so far known to actually cultivate fields of plants. You know, I think it's only appropriate that last episode, or yesterday, we finished a Christmas-themed cave, and now, on the 31st, we're moving from winter to spring. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. Yesterday, as I said, we finished the subterranean co- or not, sorry, that, the Frontier Cavern, not the subterranean complex. Losing four Pikmin in the process, but gaining two upgrades to both our hands and our feet. And we also finished the Valley of Repose. Today, the Awakening Wood is in our sights for the same treatment. We are going to be finishing it today. The Awakening Wood. This day is probably going to be one of the more... Actually, it is definitely going to be one of the more difficult ones. Because we have so much to do. So much to do. There is an entire area. If we take a left from where we, uh, we found the geographic projection, this entire area is unexplored. And so, we're going to have to explore it now. Uh, let's withdraw... Actually, we're going to withdraw all blue Pikmin. That sounds strange, but I think that's the way to do it. Uh, and we're going to be doing... Well, first of all, we're going to be doing something that's completely unnecessary. And it's clearing out this gate. It, it's kind of bugged me that... Actually, no, no, no. We're not going to be taking out that. We're just going to be taking out the gate. That is it. No, do not do that. We're just going to be taking down the gate. Because I want to leave this water here. There's no reason for it. I just want to do it. I, I think that the areas look ugly when they don't have water, and so I'll just take out the gate and and then leave it alone. It's kind of not. It's actually kind of nice that I'm clearing out an area like this without having to completely mangle it. You know, I was able to go back here without any without any uh any clearage of or any access through this this pool. All right, it's done. Now I can leave it for good. So, the first thing I would like to do is I actually probably need to be flowering these these Pikmin because they're slow. They're so slow. But that's not what I'm going to be doing for... Actually, wait a minute. Never mind. It, it could be. If I get some nectar here. Nectar. Kit. Yeah. Neat. That's... That's, a uh, That's nice. That's, that's good. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, let's... Bring these Pikmin through this nectar. There. Now I don't have nearly as much room to complain. Okay, first what we're going to be doing is killing these guys. Yes! And the male shear grubs are fine. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Well, I lost a blue. Oh, maybe they'll beat him? Maybe they'll beat him. Or maybe I can... No way. No way. Are they going to beat him? Oh, I think they are. I think I'll be able to come and help. Actually, wait. Can I despawn him? I think I might be able to time skip this fool. I still hear him. But that doesn't mean he's actually doing anything. Clear this out. Come on. Go, go, go. That one Pikmin is such a trooper. Kill him. Kill him! What? What Pikmin just died? What? 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 Did... Oh, he died at that. But man, that Pikmin was a trooper! Did you see that? He 1v1'd a creeping chrysanthemum! That's insane! Are there any Pikmin down here? Uh, no, okay. That was crazy! That- Oh, I needed to name that Pikmin now. 
That was... What am I gonna call him? What what am I calling that Pikmin? They're fine. Yeah, they're good. What am I gonna call that Pikmin? Also, I, I need whites, apparently. So, Olimar, go back to base. Um, I, I should probably name him after a... Let's see, who... Who is a good smasher to name this guy after? Uh, I'm thinking... I could call him Mewtwo King. Actually, doesn't Nairo play Pikmin and Olimar? I'm gonna call that Pikmin Nairo. Any Pikmin from here on out, and this is a little bit late in the series to be naming a Pikmin, any Pikmin to 1v1 an enemy like that, that's Nairo. Unless it's it's not Nairo. I think it's Nairo that plays Pikmin and Olimar in, in Smash, uh, Smash 4. Okay. Killed the Wallywog. Come on. Come on. There you go. Let's kill this guy. Oh, there's a... There's my above ground treasure. Okay. I forgot about that. And... And he's dead. Oh. No, he's good. We're good. We're good here. Alright, I don't need yellows. That's crazy talk. Let's... I'm guessing I need 20, so let's throw 20 on this. Yes, that should be good. Alright, um... I actually need another captain, don't I? Uh, I think I, I can wait then. Let's put these blue Pikmin away. Actually, let's put all of them away, because... Not only do... Do the white Pikmin need to clear out the poison, but they also need to clear out the entire bridge. So... Let's take out whites. 28, should do. And unfortunately, there is no go here mechanic. That is the one thing in Pikmin 3 that I love is the go here mechanic. But unfortunately, that is not in the game yet. And so, I'll just have to do this manually. Alrighty. Let's set these Pikmin, which I should, probably should have done first. Let's set these Pikmin onto this gate. And then, we can have the white Pikmin go across. This, this day is actually going a lot more smoothly than I remembered. Also, um... I, I know I, I talk about, or I guess I haven't talked about this in a while. If you're wondering where this area was uh, in Pikmin 1, right here, I don't think there was, yeah, there wasn't a bridge then. This is where the yellow onion was. And, or was it blue? No, it was yellow. Yeah, it was where the yellow onion was. And then there was a rock gate keeping us from going over here, which there wasn't water right in this area, it was actually a field, uh, with, I think, two bull blurbs in it, sleeping back to back, and then there was, there was water here, there was water, uh, where this bridge was, it was a natural bridge, like a, a land bridge, and, um, there was water on either side, and we had to push a, we had to push a, uh, cardboard box through. So it's kind of nice to keep that perspective on on these these areas. All right, let's kill these poison gates. Hopefully no Pikmin will fall into the water. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, let's leave them idle right here. Uh, Olimar, go on to this. President, just have them carry that back. Uh, they're going to reveal something, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Yep, it's just like in Pikmin 1. There are there are those guys. Okay, uh, let's... Dismiss them. Will you carry this onto the land or through the water? Onto the land, cool. Dismiss. Whistle. Dismiss. And... Take this back, please. Thank you. Also, is this... Oh, man, this music's gonna be playing for the rest of the day. Uh, that's annoying. Don't. Okay, we're good. So now, with these blue Pikmin, let's throw over 20 onto this block. Actually, the day may be a bit closer than I remember. Switch over to Olimar. Throw them up to the birdie. We have five more than we need, but that is... That's... That's, uh... That's fine. They're going to carry it over the land. Interesting. Interesting choice, Pikmin. Oh, cool. The music's back. Nice. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can head back to base. Oh, boy. Let's head back the long way. There's a creeping chrysanthemum, too? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. 
There's only one, though. Really? Oh! Come on! I- uh, no, I can't save him. Oh, that's sad. I tried. I tried. Maybe- maybe they'll interrupt the animation. Who knows? Nope. They're dead. Okay. Well, let's fight this thing. I think there's only one in this game. Uh, freeze him! Can I kill him quickly? I might be able to. Come on. Yes! 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 Wow! That was to the wire. A couple of frames earlier, and I would not have been able to do that. Oh, I was hoping I was hoping I wouldn't trigger the cutscene through that. Okay. Okay. Intriguing, my acoustic sensors are picking up a high-pitched wail. It seems to emanate from the area near this gigantic stump. This large root must penetrate deep within the planet's surface. Fascinating. And that is one of... Yeah, you know what? It, it may be my favorite area of the game. Or favorite cave of the game. Possibly. I'll, I'll make that verdict again once we go into the cavern. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that's my favorite cave of the game. Air break. And that's the last above ground treasure. Let's sick these Pikmin on this. There isn't another... Is there another snag rat? Apparently not. All right, let's just get this. No. Oh, I was controlling the wrong captain. Pushing through, and two more sprays. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I need? What Pikmin do I need for this cave? Uh, I guess I'll need these blues before I can. You know what? No. Let's see. How many are here? How many are here? 38. Let's make that 25. Uh, yeah, let's make that 25. Put this guy on him. Dismiss the president. Throw him so it is actually 25 now. And let's go pick up the Pikmin that we need. Because the day is almost over. I need to, I need to stay very mindful of that. And it's looking like we'll need... I probably shouldn't have done 25. Um, hmm. Let's do that. Let's do 30 yellows. Oh, need to wait. 30 yellows. 20. Yeah, 20 whites. Actually, no. F 15 whites. 15 whites. That's wrong. Fifteen whites. Forty, did I say, or thirty? I think thirty. Thirty yellows. And... Twenty purples? Twenty-five purples. It's ninety-six. And then we'll take out four more blues. And then flower, flower them quickly. This is also another day that I thought I, I... Well, I actually, no, I did... I guess I did say at the beginning of this day that we were going to be running out of time pretty pretty quickly. All right. That's all the, the flowers I need. Actually, no, it's not. You drink. All right. Now let's go. That's one thing that annoys me about the grass is that it's an automated task, and the Pikmin will... You could just be walking near a field of grass, and they'll just start picking it, and it's very, very annoying. All right, wait for the purples, who are incredibly slow now. All right, let's go to this cave as quickly as possible. Actually, I, what am I talking about? I have more than enough time for this. I can, I have time to kill. In fact, uh, you know what I do? I, I totally have time for this. Let's, let's kill him. Okay, go on, go on, Nairo. Kill him. And done. And then let's take care of this pellet posy. Take it back. And remember, I can always just throw the Pikmin back up to the top, so it's not like I'm it's not like I have to do the entire lap around. In fact, I didn't even have to run all the way around there. That was kind of dumb. Okay, uh you, Olimar, you go back to base. <gasps> Whoa! Ugh. How did they wake him up? I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. You, you guys should know that by now. 
<gasps> what? They're still dying? Oh, come on. Uh. Okay. Point taken. Point taken. I need to need to get in this cave quick. Very quick. All right, let's throw them up there and just get in this cave. I don't have time to harvest these pellet posies. I probably shouldn't have it to begin with, but I was a little bit greedy. Throw this pigment up here. Mache. Actually, I, I am running out of time. I. It's going to go to timer, isn't it? Come on. President, come over here. Yeah, it's going to come to time. I have 97. Where are the re where are the rest? Over there. Okay, uh Ol Olimar. You throw him. The other one is just going to have to go into the base. 98. We haven't really run into this scenario before. Where's the last one? Where is I think they're just too stacked on top of each other. We haven't run into this scenario before, but if I go into a cave with other Pikmin out onto the field, they will automatically go into the onions. So I'm not actually killing them by doing this. I'm just suboptimally sub missing out on two Pikmin that I could have had going into this cave. All right, this is the Snagret Hole. Last cave of the Awakening Wood. Let's go. The Snagret Hole. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to be facing in this cavern. Will it be Snagrets? Ma, Bobby, how did you know? I don't know why I reverted to Hank Hill there. This is why I love this cavern. This is... You don't even need any more reason than this. Look at the texture. They made a texture specifically for this cavern. I don't remember this anywhere else. Anywhere. They textured this specifically for this area. Kill them. Nice, thank you. That is an orange bulb orb, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay, so we'll go up there, which is my favorite area in the game, in just a moment. Kill him, thank you. Alright, I know better. Actually, is there even a treasure inside you? Yes, there is. All right. Let's kill him right. Kill him right. Kill him quick. Whoa. That was dumb. Really? That's... Those things are nasty. I, I wanted to use a... I, I thought about using a spray there, but... I forgot. They are nasty in this game. Okay, so... Okay, I, I thought I, I heard uh, I thought I heard a... A... Uh, 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 a thing. One of the, one of the, the bugs. What are they called? A sheer grub. I actually, I actually looked that up on screen. My apologies. Crystallized telekinesis. You know, I've done this as an end slate too often. I'm not doing it again. Future pal, please don't make this the end slate. So, this is my favorite area of the game. Bar none. I I can't think of one that, that exceeds it, and this is why. We walk up here. We're going up. We're actually going further up than the cave. This is the first time in a cave that we're actually going above ground. Because this is a tree. And this is why. We are now above the awakening wood. And we're in a tree house. Yeah. We're actually sorry. This isn't a treehouse. My bad. This is a um a uh, uh a birdhouse. We are in a birdhouse. We are up in a tree right now. There's light. There's a feather. It's th the right size for the proportions. We are in a a birdhouse. Like that's that's so cool. It's it's so unique right off the bat. Right down below us. It. Oh my. What? What? You can see it. I can see the awakening wood! Are you- that's- I didn't know you could see it! I thought it was just a white nothingness! We- that's so cool! I love this cave! 
get a feather. I don't think this is this is worth much, but the the experience of being here is worth way more than what we could ever get. Leviathan feather. Think about how big a bird would be to Olimar right now. A bird has to fit through that hole. That's really big. And it would probably stand uh, about at the height of that hole, so it's huge. Let's just be glad that birds are extinct, or they're just not around right now. It would have been kind of cool if we found an egg as a treasure. That, that would have been interesting. Alright, going into the next thing. This is also cool because we are now jumping out of the birdhouse. Let's just hit him a little bit. With my boomerang. Oh boy! <laughs> that might have been a bit dumb. <laughs> no, never mind, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm all good. How did I... How? How did I... How did I... Not lose Pikmin there? That was so dumb of me. I ran the complete opposite direction that I should have. Oh... 